The mole is a unit of measurement for amount of substance. It is defined as the amount of any chemical substance that contains as many elementary entities, e.g., atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, or photons. As there are atoms in 12 grams of pure carbon-12, the isotope of carbon with relative atomic mass 12 by definition, this number is expressed by the Avogadro constant, which has a value of 702360221412900006.02214129 times 1023. In other words, the mole is the name given to an amount of a substance equal in mass to the combined mass of the atoms of the constituent molecules of the substance multiplied by Avogadro's number. It is one of the base units in the international system of units. It has the unit symbol mole. For example, one hydrogen atom has an atomic mass of 1.008 atomic mass units. Therefore the mass of one mole of hydrogen can be calculated as 1.008 by 6.02241129 by 10 carat 23 amu equals 1.008 grams. Another way to look at the mole is to think of it as a mass equal to 6.02241129 by 10 carat 23 squared times the mass of the base unit of the substance. We know this is true because the number of amu in a gram is Avogadro's number. We can derive the relationship between a mole of a substance and the mass of one atom molecule of the substance using the previous definition of the mole stated above and the relationship between a gram and an amu like so. One hydrogen atom equals 1.008 atomic mass units of mass. 1 mole of hydrogen equals 1.008 by 6.02241129 by 10 carat 23 amu equals 1.008 grams. 1 hydrogen atom equals 1.08 6.02241129 by 10 carat 23 grams. We now compare the mass in grams of one hydrogen atom with the mass in grams of one mole of hydrogen. By dividing the mass of one mole of hydrogen by the mass of one hydrogen atom we'll obtain the scale factor between the mass of one hydrogen atom and the mass of one mole of hydrogen. Since dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by that fraction's reciprocal, we can see that the scale factor is 1.008. The 1.008 on top and bottom cancel out and we're left with Avogadro's number, x10 carat 23. This scale factor holds true for all pure substances. For example, a mole of water is Avogadro's number times the mass of one water molecule. The mole is widely used in chemistry as a convenient way to express amounts of reactants and products of chemical reactions and to represent substance in proportions. For example, the chemical equation 2H2 plus O2 2H2O implies that two moles of dihydrogen and one mole of dioxygen react to form two moles of water. The mole may also be used to express the number of atoms, ions, or other elementary entities in a given sample of any substance. The concentration of a solution is commonly expressed by its molarity defined as the number of moles of the dissolved substance per liter of solution. The number of molecules in a mole is defined such that the mass of one mole of a substance, expressed in grams, is equal to the mean molecular mass of the substance. For example, the mean molecular mass of natural water is about 18.015, therefore, one mole of water has a mass of about 18.015 grams. The term gram molecule was formerly used for essentially the same concept. The term gram atom has been used for a related but distinct concept, namely a quantity of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of atoms, whether isolated or combined in molecules. Thus, for example, one mole of MgB2 is one gram molecule of MgB2, but three gram atoms of MgB2. In honor of the unit, some chemists celebrate October 23rd as Mole Day. Some also do the same for February 6th and June 2nd. Definition and Related Concepts
As of 2011, update. The mole is defined by BIPM to be the amount of substance of a system which contains the same number of elementary entities as atoms in 0.012 kg of carbon-12, the isotope of carbon with relative atomic mass-12. Thus, by definition, one mole of pure 12C has a mass of exactly 12 grams. It also follows from the definition that X moles of any substance will contain the same number of molecules as X moles of any other substance. The mass per mole of a substance is called its molar mass. Since the standard unit for expressing the mass of molecules or atoms is defined as one twelfth of the mass of a 12C atom, it follows that the molar mass of a substance, measured in grams per mole, is exactly equal to its mean molecular or atomic mass, measured in unified atomic mass units or daltons, which is to say, to the substance's mean molecular or relative atomic mass. The number of elementary entities in a sample of a substance is technically called its amount. Therefore, the mole is a convenient unit for that physical quantity. One can determine the chemical amount of a known substance, in moles, by dividing the sample's mass by the substance's molar mass. Other methods include the use of the molar volume or the measurement of electric charge. The mass of one mole of a substance depends not only on its molecular formula, but also on the proportion of the isotopes of each element present in it. For example, one mole of calcium-40 is 7001399625909800039.9625909 plus or minus 6993220000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
He was also the first chemist to use oxygen as the standard to which other masses were referred. Oxygen is a useful standard, as, unlike hydrogen, it forms compounds with most other elements, especially metals. However, he chose to fix the atomic mass of oxygen as 100, an innovation that did not catch on. Charles Frederick Gerhardt, Henry Victor Renio and Stanislaw Canazzaro expanded on Berzelius' works, resolving many of the problems of unknown stoichiometry of compounds and the use of atomic masses attracted a large consensus by the time of the Karlsruhe Congress. The convention had reverted to defining the atomic mass of hydrogen as one, although at the level of precision of measurements at that time, relative uncertainties of around 1%, this was numerically equivalent to the later standard of oxygen equals 16. However, the chemical convenience of having oxygen as the primary atomic mass standard became ever more evident with advances in analytical chemistry and the need for ever more accurate atomic mass determinations. Developments in mass spectrometry led to the adoption of oxygen-16 as the standard substance, in lieu of natural oxygen. The current definition of the mole, based on carbon-12, was approved during the 1960s. The four different definitions were equivalent to within 1%. The name mole is an 1897 translation of the German unit mole, coined by the chemist Wilhelm Ostwald in 1894 from the German word molekel. However, the related concept of equivalent mass had been in use at least a century earlier. The mole was made the 7th SI base unit in 1971 by the 14th CGPM. The mole is a unit. Since its adoption into the international system of units in 1971, there have been a number of criticisms of the concept of the mole as a unit like the meter or the second, the number of molecules, etc. In a given lump of material is a fixed dimensionless quantity that can be expressed simply as a number, so does not require its own base unit. The SI thermodynamic mole is irrelevant to analytical chemistry and could cause avoidable costs to advanced economies. The mole is not a true metric unit, rather it is a parametric unit and amount of substance is a parametric base quantity. The SI defines numbers of entities as quantities of dimension 1, and thus ignores the ontological distinction between entities and units of continuous quantities. In chemistry, it has been known since Proust's law of definite proportions that knowledge of the mass of each of the components in a chemical system is not sufficient to define the system. Amount of substance can be described as mass divided by Proust's definite proportions and contains information that is missing from the measurement of mass alone. As demonstrated by Dalton's law of partial pressures, a measurement of mass is not even necessary to measure the amount of substance. There are many physical relationships between amount of substance and other physical quantities, the most notable one being the ideal gas law. The term mole was first used in a textbook describing these colligative properties. Other units called mole. Chemical engineers use the concept extensively, but the unit is rather small for industrial use. For convenience in avoiding conversions in the imperial, some engineers adopted the pound mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 pounds of 12 c. One pound mole is equal to 7002453592300453.59237 moles. In the metric system, chemical engineers once used the kilogram mole, which is defined as the number of entities in 12 kilograms of 12 c, and often referred to the mole as the gram mole when dealing with laboratory data. Late 20th century chemical engineering practice came to use the kilomole, which is numerically identical to the kilogram mole, but whose name and symbol adopt the SI convention for standard multiples of metric units, thus KMOL means 1000 moles. This is analogous to the use of kilogram instead of G. The use of KMOL is not only for magnitude convenience but also makes the equations used for modeling chemical engineering systems coherent. 
For example, the conversion of a flow rate of kilogram per second to kmol per second only requires the molecular mass not the factor 1000 unless the basic SI unit of mole per second were to be used. Indeed, the appearance of any conversion factors in a model can cause confusion and is to be avoided. Possibly a definition of coherence is the absence of conversion factors in sets of equations developed for modeling. Concentrations expressed as kmol per cubic meter are numerically the same as those in mole per cubic decimeter i.e., the molarity conventionally used by chemists for bench measurements. This equality can be convenient for scale-up. Proposed future definition In 2011, the 24th meeting of the General Conference on Weights and Measures agreed a plan for a possible revision of the SI base unit definitions on an as yet undetermined date. This plan, set forward in the meeting's first resolution, included a proposal to redefine the mole in a way that will fix the Avogadro constant to be equal to exactly 6.02214x times 1023 when it is expressed in the SI unit mole minus 1. The symbol X in this draft resolution represents one or more additional digits to be added to the numerical values. Using values based on the most recent CODATA adjustment, related units, the SI units for molar concentration are mole per cubic meter. However, most chemical literature traditionally uses mole per cubic decimeter, or mole dm minus 3, which is the same as mole L. These traditional units are often denoted by a capital letter M, sometimes preceded by an SI prefix, for example, millimoles per liter or millimolar, micromoles, liter or micromolar, or nanomolis, L or nanomolar. The unit's holiday, October 23rd is called Mole Day. It is an informal holiday in honor of the unit among chemists. The date is derived from Avogadro's constant, which is approximately 6.022 times 1023. It starts at 6.02 a.m. and ends at 6.02 p.m. Alternatively, some chemists celebrate June 2nd or February 6th, a reference to the 6.02 part of the constant.